Welcome to the summit. Thanks for stopping by today. Hi, I'm Joey McWilliams from MidwestSports.net, and I know it's still the time of no sports, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to talk about sports anyway. And let's talk some volleyball today with the head coach of the Concordia Bulldogs, Coach Ben Bolton. Coach, your team finished 14th according to the NAI postseason poll last year. You made it into the round of 16 into the bracket portion of the national tournament. First time in school history for that. And Really, I, I would say overall a successful season. Coach, congratulations. Yeah, I appreciate it. Appreciate you having me on and uh, get a chance to get away from the kids in quarantine a little bit. So, you know, that's, uh, it's, it's always always welcome to I love talking about our team. Well, listen, I, I know it's a, it's been a, a good season. Hopefully, we'll be talking about the new season very soon. But in the meantime, you have a lot going on, I, I know, with again, with family and, and still volleyball to talk about. And you've sent out word to your kids that the priorities don't change, that the, the order remains faith and family, academics, volleyball, and so on from there. Talk about those priorities. Yeah, so that's that's honestly that's how we measure our team uh, based on those priorities and and the core values that we have with, within our team, and so we, we try to focus on that and uh, be as much about process as we can versus outcome. Um, and you know, it's, it's just our philosophy here that you know, you, you if you focus on that, your your connections are going to be better, your your experience is going to be better. Um, you know, and it's not just in volleyball that that's, uh, what's important. You know, if you're always focused on outcome, then, you know, you're going to be living a, a roller coaster life. So, uh, you know, we've, we've been talking to our team a lot, just, uh, through zoom meetings and stuff, uh, in the spring about, um, you know, coming up with the, the little things that you can create and be great at no matter what it is that you do. Um, being able to focus on those things. So that's that's kind of been the baseline, the foundation for our team and uh, uh, really what we focus on. Well, you're building off a great season. Again, 25 and 8 overall, 11 and 5 in GPAC play. And I guess that gives you a little bit of room now with, with a record like that to, to focus then on the little things that it takes to take those next steps to the, get to, the, to that next level. And you're going to do so bringing back a lot of talented players. That includes All-American Tara Callahan. Yeah, yeah. Tara, she's um, she's been a – even before we got here as coaches. Now, we've coached her for two years now, but she was she was a, uh, on the floor as a freshman. Um, and, you know, she's she's been on the floor for a good three years now, and she's got a lot of experience. And, um, you know, uh, she's not uh, – not, uh, typical setter by any means, you know, there's, there's a, there's a certain, um, you know, uh, prototype that a lot of setters look like. She, she looks more like a middle, you know, she's, she's tall <laughs> and she's, uh, uh, big at the net and all that stuff. And, um, you know, it, it just with who she is and, and what she believes this program can be, she's really taking it to new levels. Well, she, she looks to be a, a very versatile type player, even with that. And I, I think any time that you can record 60 assists in one match, then <laughs> obviously you, you, you're doing something right. And, and I think that as a coach, too, uh, obviously it looks to me as though you're doing something right. A good sign uh, that stands out is that you're able to recruit well locally. And what I mean by that is if there are some locally talented players that you keep them within the fold and, and you're able to bring in Cameron Opfer, who is a, a three-sport star in high school, and, and bring her in, and right off the bat, well, what does she do? Become the GPAC Freshman of the Year, a, a six-foot outsider that uh, outside that's able to uh, knock down 316 kills along with 312 digs. It's a pretty good freshman season. Yeah, for sure. We've we've really enjoyed Cam. Um, she, <laughs> to to be honest with you, I feel like she's a player that was a lot like me when I was a player. So. Um, just, just the fact that she, she doesn't, uh, she doesn't get rattled, you know, she, she has great self-talk. Um, she, uh, is talented obviously at volleyball, but you know, she's, she's a player that, uh, isn't going to get, um, you know, too up or too down with her errors, you know, and she's had some errors, but you know, she, she does a good job of, of wiping them away and, <laughs> and, uh, really getting onto the next play, which is really what we focus on a lot. Um, but you know, she's up there, she can block, she can pass, she can hit, you know, she, she can do it all. And, and that's, 
uh, definitely one of the things that we look for when we're recruiting players. One of those things, uh, and a player I'm, I'm sure that you can can build around as well. I guess you have to have a short memory then for to be able to do that kind of work, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and she she just uh, does does a really good job of that with uh, holding herself accountable and then also holding others accountable. Uh, and you know, just um, it's been it's been really nice to have her on our team. And that's one of the things that Angie and I, my wife, have have really enjoyed with being back up here in Nebraska. We both grew up here in Nebraska and we, I think that we understand the, um, the culture of volleyball here. Uh, and you know, we, we grew up with volleyball and we, we, we just, we love it, you know, and that's, uh, definitely one of our core values is, uh, loving the game and just, uh, uh, being able to, um, grind through the, uh, details of the game and still, and still falling in love with that process. We're speaking now with Ben Bolt on the summit today, and I'd appreciate it if you like and share these videos. Please do subscribe to the channel to MidwestSports.net. Ben Bolt, who along with his wife Angie, just mentioned there, going into the third season of coaching at Concordia. And I know one noticeable um, change between the past couple of seasons and this season, uh, you get to to go on after the graduation of Emmy Noid, and, and uh, what a a role she's played for you over the last couple of years, had more than 400 kills last season and did so while hitting 327. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. One of our, one of our strategies um, going into most games is uh, find middles. And, you know, when you, when you can have ball control well enough to find the middle blocker, you know, it's, it's a quick set and it's really tar- hard to defend. So, um, you know, Emmy did a great job of making herself available as as a as an attacker, and she did that for four years. So, um, you know, she's really been a face of the program for for uh, the amount of time that she's been here. And um, you know, we've we've got some depth uh, behind her, and we've got some new kids coming in that um, you know we're going to have to step in and and throw them in there and compete for that spot. Um, but you know, the just the 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 role of of her position of middle blocker, you know, it's, it's not going to change for us. Our philosophy is not going to change. So um, let's uh, let's, let's figure out how to, how to make the most out of that position. And uh, we really did when, when she was here. I can imagine. And, you know, coach, you mentioned this and I, I can imagine how nice it is. It's, it's a luxury. It's not something that happens all the time, but when, when you have a player like that depart, who has set the bar high for other players to follow and and still you have a lot of talented players coming back for this next season, which we hope starts on time and and we'll see how that happens. But like everyone else right now, you're doing zoom meetings. You talked about that. How's everything going with the program? Well, we're trying to make it as close to our regular spring season as possible without seeing each other, you know, physically, Um, you know, we, we're, we're doing leadership meetings with our, our, our returning seniors uh, that, that are coming back and, um, they, they're really uh, helping us keep a, a tab on how our team is is uh, connecting and um, and staying together and, and all that stuff. Um, we're we're doing some some uh, mental training with uh, 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 a person that is doing a, uh, just a, a mental uh, how to deal with adversity and, and and things like that. And we're doing that as a team. So. Uh, so we're, we're, we're doing a, we're doing a good job. I think that we're staying connected. Uh, we, we give them connect activities, uh, through our team Snapchat where, uh, just this last week was, um, being able to, uh, put yourself on film and do and pick up a piece of paper with one, with only being one leg, you can't touch your, your hands on the ground. And, you know, you get some, some people that are really good at it. You get some people that are not so good at it. And, you know, it's just, it's a fun way to connect with the team and, you know, a, a good way to laugh and, and make sure that we all stay connected. And I think that's the biggest thing about this, this whole, uh, this whole quarantine is that you, um, you know, whatever challenge that you're presented with, you, you figure out a way to keep your priorities in place and, and stay connected as a team. I think that that's the most important thing. And I, I you know, it, it, maybe we're not getting the touches with that, that we're getting in the practice gym, but we, we can still, um, you know, we, we can still love each other. We can still uh, do little things to, to reach out. 
Coach, I agree with you entirely, and sometimes you can have the most talented team, but a team without chemistry uh, may not be able to go as far, and, and so that's really big. Well, uh, again, as we wrap things up, you know, you were talking about little little things earlier. What would be a couple of little things that allows this program to take that next step in, in a in a tough GPAC league anyway and, and then on, on the national level? Yeah, well, uh, that is our actual motto for this year is little things. So it pops up in conversation, and, you know, I, I always think about uh, what, what that means to us. And uh, really, it, it comes down our, – our previous two mottos were, were about – uh, our first year was about being great, uh, a physical team on the court. And then last year it was about um, uh, being great with our relationships. Now our theme this year, little things is kind of an all encompassing uh, being great at, at both things. And, and um, you know, something I, I think that is, is going to be great for our team to, to, to move forward with for next year is that we, remember who we are and what got us to this point um you know it 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 can be it can be easy to fall into the trap of saying hey you're you're a sweet 16 team now you should be getting to the uh, elite eight or something like that that should be your goal and really i don't want to focus on that i want to focus on uh what got us to to where we are right now um and uh you know our core values on on our team are love trust hard work and sacrifice and you know we're, we're motivated to win the g pack um but our focus is going to be on those core values and i think uh anytime you deviate from that then um you know you're going to lose your sight it's going to be more about outcomes so so for our team we're gonna we're gonna buckle down we're gonna focus on on the process and i think that that i think the results are going to take care of themselves that sounds good. Sounds like a winning formula, Coach. I, I appreciate that. Well, I want to say thank you very much for taking time with us today. The Concordia Bulldogs season scheduled to get underway August 21st in, first in, in Hutchinson, Kansas. So you guys will be on the road, not too far down the road, but on the road uh, to get things going. And then, of course, the regular season continues from there. And hopefully another appearance in the NAIA tournament. Coach Ben Bolt of the Concordia Bulldogs, thank you, sir, for being with us on the summit today. Awesome. I appreciate you having me. All right. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks again for watching this broadcast on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel. Please do subscribe as well. In the meantime, God bless you and have a great day.